So it's officially, officially, officially happening. This has been a long time coming, to be honest. If I'm being very honest about this, this shit here was a long time coming in terms of Flash. Similar to what this guy said uh, down here, good riddance to Flash, real player, DivX, Silverlight, and all of the other crap codecs and plugins that made early multimedia such a catastrophe. Yeah, he's kind of right in a way. Some of it may have been necessary, but in the end, it seemed to, to serve everyone except the end user. <laughs> I mean, the dude's not lying. Like, oh my goodness, there's so many things that we can actually, when it comes to the concept of Flash, there are so many ways that we can actually approach this entire thing. Because Flash was both good and bad. Like, Flash, similar to like the CGI that you would see in movies, Flash was really, really good when it was used. When Flash was overused, that's when it was bad. Like, when Flash was being overused inside of like, advertisement panels on websites with like fucking seizure inducing ads on the side promising you know better heart i mean you know better download speeds and other shit like that and you know win a fucking xbox 360 or a playstation 3 or some playstation 2 yeah or a playstation 2 or something like that or some crazy shit like that Flash was annoying in its way, but when Flash was used right, aka when Flash was being used to make games, as well as other animations early in its day, Flash was amazing. Uh, what cracks me up is that some of the people who currently complain about Apple's non-support of XYZ are the same people who insist Apple was doomed for not supporting Flash on iPhone OS. Yo, there are some nerds out there who understand this Flash concept a little bit more better than me, and I'm really happy for that. But to be honest, I'm not trying to talk about Flash in terms of its actual death. I want to take a step back and go to the things that Flash actually did that was good for the sake of the internet. Newgrounds.com, ladies and Gentlemen, if you were in the early 2005 to 2010 of whatever the fuck it is that this first started off as, Newgrounds was the opening way to, I want to say, uh, not necessarily internet gaming, but Newgrounds was like the fucking door to just online entertainment forever. Like, Newgrounds was something where... You could not only have fucking games and animations, you just had a curious group of people who had like a similar mindset in terms of like, let's be real, in terms of like uh, teenage angst, as well as a little bit of some uh, violence, if you know what I mean. A lot of things on Newgrounds, yeah, let's be real, Newgrounds was not a kid-friendly site at all. I don't give a fuck how cartoony this shit may look. Newgrounds was never a kid-friendly site and it was never meant to be a kid-friendly site oh man so with the concept of Newgrounds being as good as it was Newgrounds as well as flash animations in general have paved the way for I want to say certain designers and certain developers I don't know if some of you guys actually know this but if I'm correct Castle Crashers was based off of a little something called ah oh, Dang, what was it called? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 it wasn't madness. It wasn't, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of madness shit. If you know about madness, then you've been on Newgrounds for a hot minute, I can tell you that now. Uh, no, it wasn't madness, what was it? Okay, this is what it was. Dad in me. Dad in me, you gotta click to enable flash player. I'm not gonna do that. Oh my goodness, all right, fuck this. Uh, I just need some images real quick. Uh, real quick. Okay, so it should be plainly obvious that Dad and Me went on to become... Yep, exactly. Up here. Castle Crashers. Wait, what? That's not Castle Crash... Whatever, dude. Uh, <laughs> Dad and Me went on to become this. Now, if you're telling me that Flash didn't have... If you think that Flash didn't have some type of influence on the current generation of gaming, you 
need to go back to the early 2000s and try this shit all, all over again. By the way, when you do, invest in some Bitcoin because, yeah, I certainly would. Anyway, when it comes to the concept of Flash games, I don't think people really, for people who were born in like later 2000s, I don't think you really understand how insane Flash games and Flash animations could go. Flash animations quite literally broke the fucking internet. Flash animations, there's a reason why I believe they ask you whether you want to run Flash or not because there are certain things that just come up in Flash that are completely just eye jarring and I want to say it can make your fucking eyes melt with the amount of terrible shit that you can see inside of a Flash animation. Uh, my favorite Flash game back in the day was... What was that good shit? Yeah, boy. Adventure Quest. If I'm right, this was engine Adobe Flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adobe Flash. And man, oh my goodness. You can't tell me shit about Adventure Quest when this shit first popped. There was no... There was no MMOs, there was no RPGs. I mean, there was, but there weren't, they weren't like openly of, they weren't like, the public didn't know about them. You know what I mean? If you had to like download a client in order to play a game, that was one thing. But the fact that you can come to an online site and you can use that to play your game on instead of having to like download a client all the time. This was this was the start of like early gaming. I swear to God, dude. But yeah, with everything going on the way that things are going on, I honest to goodness, I thought that this whole thing was just like you know, Flash is kind of obsolete, but you can't really get rid of it because it's too integrated into websites. No, Adobe's like, this is it. Like, this is it. As far as I'm concerned. Flash had a really good run. Flash was like, uh, 1996 to whatever, to 2021, basically. That's a pretty good run for a fucking software, man. Like, it really is. You gotta think about it. In all honesty, this is probably needed. I mean, I haven't played a Flash anything in, like, the longest time possible, but... It just kind of sucks that this is one of the things that kind of have to go. Hopefully, this is a sign of so many better things in the future near on. Hopefully, this is also a, a sign of Adobe improving things with their products. As someone who buys Adobe products, and I mean I buy Adobe products, uh, hopefully Adobe just knows what they're doing moving forward with everything else. Yeah, man, I'm not really sure what else to say. Like, it does suck, but it doesn't suck because it doesn't affect me a lot. Me personally. It does suck in terms of, like, a lot of nostalgia from the games that I used to play back then. Like I said, the best games that I played back then were, like, you know, Cartoon Network Online and uh, even Pawn Game. If you guys don't know about Pawn Game, you're also missing out. But regardless, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about for a second. Uh, yeah, life is the way it is, and you can't necessarily keep everything forever. Nothing lasts forever, which is unfortunate. Which is unfortunate in the case of Adobe Flash. <sighs> Rest in peace to Newgrounds and all the Flash games that are going down. Don't get me wrong; I'm pretty sure you can still say. Wait, wait, wait. Did I do enough research? Yeah, so don't get me wrong, people are finding ways that you can still continue to play Flash games, but me in particular, it's just not going to be necessarily worth it because Flash is literally just that obsolete in terms of the level of gamer that I am. But for the most part, if any of you guys out there are in love with Flash as much as I was, RIP man, that's all I can say. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about with you guys. I hope your new year is going amazing as it should be. Hopefully, things will go a lot better than last year for you. As always, my name is Chaos the Gamer. And yeah, GG's, motherfuckers. Peace. <laughs>